Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, batch virus. Uh, sorry for that noise in the background, it's my fan. So, um, this is less a virus than it is just a way to piss off your people at your workplace or um, your school. Basically what this does is it overloads the computer with processes and uh, it's more than the computer can handle and it grinds to a halt and freezes. That's what this does. So you're going to make a new text file, as we usually do with batch files. Just open that up. And we're going to start as usual with start and at echo off. So this part is completely optional, but I think it's fun. And add a CLS if you want. But, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to echo in there some message before your virus starts. So... I'm going to use that. I. This will end you. So, yeah, that can be whatever you want. And now I'm going to paste in that. This is a ping function. So basically, what that does is it pings this IP address, which doesn't exist, and waits for 10 seconds to see if it gets a response. If it doesn't, then it just goes to the next function in the batch file. You can adjust how long it waits by adjusting that number, um, and it runs in milliseconds, so 10,000 equals 10 seconds. So just type that in. Alright, so now what we're gonna do we're gonna type in like another location that can be what it called whatever you want. And we are going to clear the screen. And um so basically what we're gonna do here is we are going to um we're going sorry. We are going to start the process overload. So we are going to start a web page process and it'll open whatever default web browser you have. You can put anything, any web page you want in that space. For example, if you're doing an adware attack, you can put your website in that space. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use Google. So, let's type that in one more time, just for fun. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make a go to function, we're going to say go to virus or whatever you put there. That way it'll just open infinite amounts of of internet windows. Save it as whatever you want dot bat. I'm gonna name it freezer dot bat. So I'm gonna save it here. And save it as all files as usual. So, well, why is that there? So now it's it's somewhere on my desktop. So now, when you open that file, it's going to open like infinite amounts of web windows, which will like make your computer freeze. So yeah, that's how to make a batch virus, a freezer virus, as I call it. Thanks for watching. This is Espresso Set at 90. More tutorials coming.